second time there is no water we're going to Himare this morning trying to check out brush teeth to the toilet and there is no water <laughs> Checking out, checking out. Last look if we take in everything, and last look at our apartment. We somehow managed to brush our teeth, etc. Even though there was no hot water, the lady host has fixed it for us. Just getting to get a taxi. So we get a taxi. Hi, right, goodbye. All right. Let's get a taxi. Hello. So taxi is here. Loaded. Going to the airport to pick up the car. Back to the airport of Tirana. We are getting our car from the terminal. Car rental offices are just outside the building by KFC. Our office is called Green Motion, I think. Might be getting an electric vehicle, maybe. I mean, I've only paid for a Vauxhall Corsa. We never get what you actually order, so let's see. I mean, I joke, I don't think we're gonna be getting an electric one, but let's see what we get, think. And there we go, let's find it along this. Shops. That's it, green motion. Let's get a car. Right, that's not very convenient. I was looking for in terminal office, not out terminal. Right. Okay, haven't got my choice, have to walk up. So the office is here, right in front of the terminal. But how the hell do I get to the hands? Don't tell me I have to go all the way around. I think we do. There you go. Finally. Go to the office. So this is our drive. We ask for a Corsa and we got this MG. So that is even better. Let's just take a little video. If there is no damage to the car. Hopefully there is no damage. It looks okay. I think I had one of these when I visit Croatia, which you can see the vlogs from there as well. If you want on my channel. Yeah, it looks all good. Park the car. Unfortunately, no luck to park you on the street, so we left it there. Cost 28 euros to park for two days. Now we heading to check into the hotel. We're gonna find it first. I'm guessing is here somewhere. And really close to the beach. Good. I think we live here somewhere. On the right. Wow, we are literally on the beach. That is great. I'm guessing is this. So yeah, let's check in. Right, so just checked in. 
90 pounds for two nights here. The, it's called Apartments Himara Premium. You can see it is not premium, but I guess it's just the name. But it's just an apartment, a little sink, fridge, a double bed, single, a telly, little bathroom. Hopefully they have water here. I mean, hopefully they have hot water. You know, you never know here. Anyway, and it looks like we've got a balcony there as well. Unfortunately, not with the view of the sea, but the street. It's one big balcony to share. Oh my God, it's so hot. Anyway, so let's unpack and we go and see the beach. The cool thing here is that right on the top of the hotel we got a rooftop bar which is open seven, from 7pm 7 all the way up to the morning apparently so yeah I guess we'll be staying there as well anyway let's unpack and we go to the beach so as we leave the apartment I'm gonna go to the beach let me show you what's in front of me so we stay there somewhere on the top but at the other side unfortunately that's the main uh, path I say and this is the beach. I hope it's a good beach. Let's see it. I hope it's nice. There's not many people actually swimming in the water for some reason. Not sure why. And I hope there is any, there is some uh, free sunbeds. Looks like there's going to be something tonight here. Look. Phew, they're gonna show the match. Which is not today, unfortunately. So that's the beach. Not amazing, I have to say. But I think it's not the worst. It's just your life, your voice. And let's see it from the other side. The heaven of our kids, the one of our choice. So breathe. if these umbrellas are to rent or like people's private umbrella I'm not sure actually well I guess we'll find out the water looks nice hopefully it's nice and warm so yeah let's let's see I'm guessing when the Sun goes down a little bit this will be nice and busy full of people obviously it's hot now 36 degrees so no one here, but I'm quite surprised with the amount of people that are on the actual beach. Not many at all. That is quite odd. So we have decided just to walk along the promenade to see what this place has to offer first. And then we just settle down on the beach. We just got to this little pier where all the boats are starting I think they do like boat tours to different island nearby and stuff 
So just gonna walk up to have a look. Water isn't bad, but it's it's not like sand sandy. You know, do you know what I mean? Like it's not white sandy beach. Right, so I'm guessing that we have to find a spot for us. Just settle there. Hopefully there will be a shop nearby to get some water. Oh, it's not too bad, it's okay. Seen better beaches, but I also seen worse. So as it's like 30 seconds away from the hotel, this is a good thing. Just look at this mountain surrounding the town. Honestly, Albania is 75% of mountain. Also, the way here was very nice, but as I was driving, I couldn't really take a lot of footage, but it was nice, bloody hell. A lot of nice views. Can't wait to jump in this water. Hopefully, nice and warm. All right, let's settle down. Let's find out if you can have an umbrella, if they rent it or you have to bring it on. So this is the supermarket. I was expecting something more like spa or something, but I guess that's what we're getting. As long as they have beer and water, I'm happy with this. And it looks like they do have water for sure. And beer, okay, perfect. I'm sure it would be expensive, but it's fine. Right then. Not too bad, you got everything. Free, just everything that we need, so perfect. Right, let's do some shopping and off we go. So, here's the shopping. How much is this? Speaking to the lady in the little shop, she's saying that there's literally no city center. All it is is just a promenade on the beach. But she's saying that you don't need anything else as this town wakes up in the evening. It really becomes a lively place. Lively place. So yeah, we shall see. Let's just find the nice spot for us to chill and I can't wait to dive in the water as it's so bloody hot I know I'm pouring of sweat that's why I switched my camera facing the the sea yeah no one here at the moment I think everyone is waiting for the sun to go down right where do we go Right, so we're trying to open one of the umbrellas. Obviously, we're told that they belong to the restaurant and we can rent one if you want. So we took an umbrella from these guys. You might see one over there. The big one, yellow one. They asked for 15 euro for half a day, but we negotiated the price to 10 euro for half a day. So I think that is more than fair. Three seats, 10 euro. And mom is already gone in the water. So she will give me a feedback. How is the water in one second? Right. So we flew the drone a little bit to take some nice footage. And we went in the water as well. It's mainly stones, but not like sharp rocks. So it's not like pressure. I do prefer a white sand, but it's, it's okay, you know, with the, with the round stones. However, the water is well my parents said it's not too hot when i went in there with my ultra watch it's 26 degrees inside and 27 right on the shore so i don't think it's that bad actually yeah so this is going to be our locker beach 27 degrees water and we're gonna stay here for the next three hours or so then we'll probably go to eat something and take a walk along the promenade after dark and finish on our rooftop bar so yeah see you there right we're done over the beach we are going to eat something sun is still shining but we're hungry so need to pick something from 
these local restaurants here. So just walking along the promenade, not that many places to go here and none of them are Albanian traditional. It's all Mediterranean food. I think we're coming back to Italian place. My dad loves pasta with prawns and crujets, so I think we're gonna stop there, see what, they, what else they offer. That place over here, Himara 28. That's when the whole that's what the host of our apartment said he would recommend. Well, it doesn't look very good to be honest. Actually, let's see. It's called Valentino, and this is the menu. And he's craving this pasta with prawns, so I think that's what we're going to have. Um, just this one. So, yeah, let's check it out. That's what an offer here. So let's see what we're having. All right. It says appetizers, but it looks like a main courses of fish and meat. Something, some pastas, risotto. Fish, fish, meat. Just gone for a liter of house white. It's okay actually, 14 euros, not bad. So I'm just having simple mussels, steamed mussels. Fish soup, more of a cream rather than actual soup with pieces and some fried potatoes, so they call it, which are chips and tzatziki. So far so good, delicious food. The main is here, I'm having octopus. The guy said he's coming with a veg, which is not here yet. Maybe it's coming, maybe not. Linguine with prawns. And apparently risotto with chicken and veg. Enjoy. So this is the bill, 73 euro, 7,300 lik for three of us and we ate well with a bottle of wine. I feel that that's acceptable, no service charge, so remember you got to leave some tips. Restaurant was very good guys, 73 pound, well, I mean 73 euro, I think it's well worth it. But now is the time when the weather is so beautiful sun is out and the city i mean the city the town is slowly slowly filling up all the restaurants and everything so yeah this is the chill time looking good we are just going to the supermarket to do some shopping and then we're going to try this rooftop bar on in our hotel hopefully that's any good i'll show you when i get there we're heading back to our hotel we're heading back to our rooftop bar but i just thought i'll show you the promenade during the evening it looks like it's just filling up it's only 9 pm but it looks like it's only getting busier and busier. Good. Let's see what it looks like from the top, from the roof bar. So just got to our rooftop terrace. Looks quite decent actually, but not many people here. I'm not sure why, maybe not late enough. The view is decent from the terrace. It definitely looks like the rooftop next to us has a better trade. It's got music on and everything, but that one is not too bad actually. So yeah, we decided to stay here, have a drink and go to sleep. As we're having a busy day tomorrow in front of us as well.
chin chin. I'm gonna be finishing our vlog from Kimare for today. So we got here, it took us three hours, 30 minutes almost, mainly motorway from Tirana, however, a bit of a country roads, country lanes. Last hour, I would say, not a difficult drive, quite a nice drive, but yeah. So we got here, checked into a hotel, got a car, but unfortunately, we couldn't get any free spaces. The parks had to pay 28 pounds, 28 euro for two days. That's how long we're staying here. And yeah, spent the, the entire day on the beach today. Took a walk to the restaurant, took a walk along the promenade. And yeah, that'll be it. So, Thanks for watching guys, make sure you comment, subscribe, let me know what else you would like to see in Albania while I'm here. And yeah, thank you very much, see you later.